Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference being held in Shamar Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined this morning by Gilles Bregard, who is the CEO of ANFR, the French National Spectrum Agency. Gilles, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for this uh, interview, and I'm glad to be here in Sharma Czech for WRC. I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about France's ICT regulatory policies. How have they evolved over the past decade? Well, the past decade has been very busy doing switchover for analog TV and change of standards for, for broadcast. And that's a direct result from WRC 12. So WRC has an impact on France. We also have uh, ideas about how to reform better and faster because uh, when you have new services coming from WRC uh, decisions in fact you have to uh, find solutions for previous services and this requires uh, banking services and to some extent uh, ANFR does that for the social benefit of new services and finally we, we need to find new ideas to, to develop uh, to deploy faster new services. And uh, in France, we have what we call New Deal Mobile, uh, new, di new Deal for Mobiles. And we try to have a faster and uh, more thorough coverage of rural areas. And that has to be uh, really in the mind of uh, policymakers. When you have a new service, you should find ideas to make it available to everybody. And the investment in the infrastructure must be quite uh, substantial then, or that's required. Yes, uh, the investment uh, has to come from the network operators and they have a rebate on their license fee and uh, in exchange they have to cover the rural areas. In terms of uh, regulatory priorities, what are your key regulatory priorities moving forward? Well, France is part of, uh, of the European Union, so we have to find uh, harmonized solutions with, with the European Union and with CPT. Uh, you know, the, the Europe, Europe is very uh, intricate as a continent. We have big experience with cross-border coordination. And I used to be uh, chairman of RSPG a few years before, so the Radio Spectrum Policy Group. And it is very important that we have a common view on a number of services at a European level. So regional harmonization is important. Uh, we also have a need to have firm uh, positions uh, for space, because for space WRC is essential. Let's talk about France's regulatory policies. How have you seen them evolve over the past decade? Well, the past decade in France has been uh, extremely active with the switchover of analog TV towards uh, DTT, and that's a direct result from WRC 12. So WRC has a concrete impact on, on places like, in, like France. Uh, doing a switchover, we've also been very active in trying to find solutions for refarming because uh, when you take decisions about new services, you should bear in mind what happens to the previous services. And refarming is uh, something that has to be put into a project with, a quite, with a adequate financing, really. And uh, during this project, ANFR has acted like a bank, uh, giving money to the incumbents to actually find new places in the spectrum. And also, we have a big interest in fast deployment of services. We have a new policy in France called uh, New Deal Mobile in French, which is a new deal for mobile coverage. And we try to have a good and quick coverage of rural areas. For this, we have a rebate on the license fee, uh, which has been granted by the regulator and by the state. And so, in fact, the network operators have to reinvest part of their fee in covering rural areas for a smooth service to everybody. And what has been the feedback from network operators for, the, for this particular in incentive? Well, they've been uh, very uh, constructive and they actually do uh, implement uh, this new policy. Uh, it started uh, last year, in fact. So we have a two-year vision of what happens and it will last for some years. Talking about policies, what are your key regulatory policies moving forward? Well, uh, we, we have first a, a need in France for a good integration uh, with the European uh, global uh, continent. France is part of the European Union and uh, at the European Union we have a policy group called RSPG. I have, I'm honored to have been the chairman of RSPG for a few years. Uh, RSPG uh, provides harmonization targets for Europe. Europe is very integrated, so lots of countries have to find solutions together, in fact. And then uh, that goes to CEPT, and uh, CEPT is a key regional organization for WRC. So first, we need to have 
smooth and coherent solutions for Europe. We also need to have a, a coherent solution for space because now we have uh, new, new space issues. We know mega constellations, nano satellites, lots of situations with uh, GSO satellites. And we, we need to find uh, firm and stable solutions because space has a very long time constraint. So you need to have uh, solutions uh, for years. And, RSP, and, and WRC is here for that. It's not like terrestrial infrastructure where you can just knock it down and start again. Yes, spectrum is difficult because it's the coexistence of things which have very different time constraints. So you have very fast uh, applications such as to some extent mobile telephony and some, some ones are very, very lengthy because you, you need decades, in fact, for a generation of, of train or for satellites, for instance. So we have to make that coexist and that is to some extent uh, written down in the radio regulations. Now you touched upon these, but I wanted to, to ask you a little bit uh, more. What do you see as some of the opportunities and challenges regarding international spectrum management? Well, the first issue really is to make new space possible because all the satellites have to coexist smoothly. And that is a key issue for WRC. The next point is 5G. 5G is, of course, a key issue because 5G eats up spectrum. So we have to find spectrum and we have to find solutions for incumbents that were in the spectrum which is now targeted for 5G. Uh, and we also need to find firm and uh, very stable solutions for study of climate change. So that's why it's very important to have protection of spectrum for this uh, climate uh, supervision from the satellites. And what are you looking forward to most at this WRC? What are the, the major uh, outcomes that are going to be key for you? Well, the major outcome is to find firm, and stable solution for 5G, especially in millimetric waves is to find uh, good solutions for preservation of uh, meteo uh, control and climate change. And of course, is to find a very stable solution for space because we have to manage all these satellites. You know, France is very active in the satellite area because we have many actors, manufacturers, operators, and we need to make all this new uh, growing family of satellites coexist. And that is for us a very important target. Well, thank you very much for sharing some very valuable insights here into uh, the, the situation uh, in France uh, and, and around the globe. And hopefully we will catch up with you again soon. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.